Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to get Strimps Distinct Potions. So basically what this texture pack does, it changes every single design of every potion. So if you're fed up with the default Minecraft potion bottles, this would definitely be the texture pack to download. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the link in the description down below. And basically from that link, it will take you to this website just here. Then once you are on this website just here, as you can see, it's actually a resource pack. So it's actually very easy to download and install. If we scroll down, we can actually see the game versions over here. So we actually got the newest version for Minecraft. So if you're using the newest version of Minecraft at the moment, that is great. You can use this. You can come down even further, you can see some of the screenshots they do provide and what the bottles actually look like, which they do look pretty cool. And then you can come through and have a little look at these. But what we're going to want to do is actually download this thing. So come up here to the files icon just here, a little files word, click on that. And from here, what we're going to do is actually select the version we want. Now the version I'm going to be doing is this one just here, 1.21.1. Click on the three little dots, then click on download file. While this is downloading, be sure to check out Apex Hosting if you want to play Minecraft with your friends. It has some really good high quality servers, and it also does come with a DDoS protection. So be sure to check them out at the link in the description down below. So I'm currently on my desktop, and the first thing we're going to want to do is actually open up your file explorer. So I'm going to open mine up just now. And from in here, what we're going to want to do is come down to the downloads just over here, click on that. And right here, we have got our texture pack. I'm going to drag this off to my desktop just like that and click on the little X button just up here. Now to install this is actually very easy. What we're going to want to do is just load up our Minecraft launcher. So it's very easy to do, just load up your Minecraft launcher. Now once your Minecraft loads up, what you're going to want to do is just come down to the options just down here, click on the options. Then from here, simply just go over to resource packs just here, click on that. And in here, what we're going to want to do is it just open resource packs folder down here, click on that. Now in here, this actually goes to our .minecraft resource packs. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to drag in my new texture pack. So simply, I'm going to click on the little minimize button just up here in Minecraft, move this over slightly, and here we go. So simply just drag this into here like that, and click on the little X button just there, head back over to Minecraft, and just here, as you can see, we have got it just here. Click on the little arrow button just there, make sure it's in here like this one. Click on the done button just down here, now, as you can see, I'm in Minecraft right now. What we're going to want to do is just go to our inventory or I'm in creative right now, so I can just go into creative mode. And as you can see, all the potions have changed just down here. So I'm going to drag some of these out. So I'm going to drag some of these ones out. As you can see, they all look a bit different, which is quite nice. And yeah, they've all got their own different designs and animations as well, which looks actually pretty cool. So simply, I've got some in my inventory right now. And as you can see, this is what they look like. So I'm going to throw some of these, as you can see, what they do. And um, yeah, basically that's how you install this texture pack. But it is recommended if you do have Optivine installed as well, it does help out with some of the uh, animations and things like that and other little pieces. So if you want to know how to download that, be sure to check out the video now on the screen. Also, if you want to know how to install shaders, be sure to check out this other video on the screen as well. But that is it in this video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video.